Hello, everyone, and not welcome back, because this is a new show. Um, with me is a character you've never met before. Hi! It is the great Lord Vorm. <laughs> Um, uh. And with it, this is the inaugural episode of our little What Have We Been Reading This Month series. So, uh, Vorn and I are both massive readers of light novels, web novels, manga, manga. anything we can find online. Yeah. Um, so we figured once a month we could get together and talk about the things we've enjoyed most over the last month that we've been reading. Um, so would you like to start us out? Because I know you read mostly on your phone. Yeah. I do too, but I actually have book copies of the four things I'm going to talk about today. Yeah, I need to actually... Yeah, so... And one of the things is we're not going to be talking about everything we read because I am absolutely positive that both of us are reading far more things than we can discuss in yeah, one video. That, that's going to be a very, very long episode. We, right. we don't want hour-long episodes here yet, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't Tell help. us if you do. <laughs> it doesn't help because I actually have I have Webtoon, Tapas, Tapitoon, mm. Manta... Uh, manga tune, legend, legend plus, <laughs> um, as oh, well God. as at least seven or eight tabs open mm. on like Batoto and, and and a couple other um, Tortuga esque sites. Mm. Um, and TikTok actually recommends me Manhua now. <laughs> it does. TikTok you want TikTok too much? Recommending me Manhua. It's actually mostly to my taste too. So what do you have for us this month that you've been reading? So I'm going to do my first one, and then I'm going to throw it to you. Okay. So my first one is a series I have really, really kind of delved deep into right now. It is, despite being pursued as a villain, all the heroines are on my side. <laughs> yes, I know. But I do like those isekai stuff right there. We do. We both yeah. do like them isekai bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> we are we are the bane of the anime man's existence. We are those people who like Reborn <laughs> is a vending machine. I wonder the dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> we are the target mm. audience. Yes, so what have you been liking about it? Is it the story, the characters? It, it's mostly like the story, but it's also like been the characters right there. Because... It does actually play off, like, of the uh, Isekai genre of, like, oh, a person... Well, also it's kind of a Tome game kind of thing, but, like... Reborn in an Isekai world, but it was also in a Tome game world, kind yeah. of. Yeah, well, what's the opposite of a Tome game again for the guys? Isn't it just a Tome game for guys? It's a dating yeah, game. Yeah, it's yeah, a dating sim. Yeah, yeah kind of dating, kind of freaking If there's sex or no work. sex. <laughs> if there's sex, it's an eroge. That's if true. If there's no sex, it's a dating sim. Not yet. So, dating sim. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is dating sim. Uh, oh, kindly yeah. provided to us by our off-camera um, party crasher. Nick <laughs> Nick. Ignore me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so then the, the first thing I've been reading recently mm -hmm. is... Um, so this is the first volume of The Abandoned Empress. I actually ended up getting the first three volumes. And I read them all this month. They actually came out a while ago, but I didn't realize they were out in English and mm -hmm. paper yet. So I ordered them all three at once. I actually have a pre-order on the fourth one coming out next year. And I think back when I started reading Isekais, I read a few chapters, but I did it like in a piratey way. And mm -hmm. the translation was really, really bad. So I ended up having to drop it. But uh, because it's being released here, I know that the translation's good. So I picked mm. it back up and I am really enjoying this. I like the character. And I honestly, this is another reborn, Isekai yeah. reborn. Um, but I like that in this case, the main character is not the person who is reborn from another world, but yep. she's the person who's reborn after she died in this world. Oh. So she is a per character from the world who is being reborn mm. like several several years back yeah. in her timeline to try again, but there is also a character mm. who is isekai into it. Mm. Um, and I kind of like that she basically... I like the, the take that she has on the story, which is just like, I... She has PTSD. She's like, I have PTSD and I don't want to die. And it is yeah. very clear that that is what's happening. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, no, like, I also have, like, uh, another one I was reading that's, like, quite literally almost exactly like that. That is the uh, Tear Moon Empire, if I remember correctly, mm. is the name of that series. So, yeah. Nice. Nice read. 
especially very, very funny on long of the things of the character stupidity gets into. Oh, such a fucking yeah. mood. <laughs> such a fucking mood. So what's your second? Okay, my second one is... Uh, I, I need to look this up make sure I get the correct name. So sorry, everybody. Um, I am garbage is the name of my second one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh I'm going to get into that. It's going to be great. Uh, saving saving 8,000 gold in another world for my retirement. And uh, this is getting an anime next yes, season. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. This one, I mentioned it to Nick Dak because I, I actually didn't know that this was a manga, but I remember mm. looking up... Well, it's a manga. It's also a novel mm. series, which started as a web novel. So yeah. yeah. I remember looking this... I was looking for something else, and then this came up, and I was like, that's a great concept. Because the character yeah. is basically isekai but she can go from her world to the Isekai world, yeah, and fact. she decides to save her retirement in yeah. the Isekai world so that she can retire early. I mean, it's medieval world. You bring modern tech into it. It's yeah. very, very easy to become a... Millionaire? Vander, no, like a Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt or like a Rothschild or something oh, like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Fucking steel and, <laughs> and oil tycoons oh, over up in here in yeah. medieval times. Oh, yes, Gloriousness. Yes, yes. I'm sensing a common theme in the fact that we're going to be talking about a lot of isekais and Otome games. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll break that with my next book, though, mm. and reveal that I am trash. <laughs> this is Titan's Bride. It got an official English paper I release. Love, back in the way. Back way. Back way. No, I will no. not be opening this book. And I will not be describing the plot of it. All you need to know is it's an isekai. And um, there will be an off the shelf after dark coming out about this um, with an irregular guest that will be a uh, restricted age rating. Just. um. Look at the cover picture if you really, really kind of want to look at it. And you'll know the reason why I'm backing away. <laughs> I am trash. <laughs> but I'm, I, I'm really uh, enjoying it. Once again, it was another series mm. that I kind of, I fell off of after a little while mm. because there wasn't a good translation. Uh, so now getting back to like a good translation, I'm yeah. able to really read it again and enjoy it and understand mm. what's happening in the story. It's actually a little less cringe <laughs> when it's not Google translated. Oh um, my. A little, little less cringe. Uh. <laughs> Okay, for mine, I'm going to actually uh, bring out something I read a little while ago, but ties in with the first book I actually uh, talked about. And I think it ties in very nicely because of actually how its setup is compared to that first book. And that is Novels Extra. I just love how, like, that... It's pretty much a um, basic thing of writer gets thrown into his own story, if I remember correctly, is the synopsis for that. And that is such an interesting concept right there because he does change a lot of the story because he does know how stuff works together. And it is some of the stuff where you have read, but it's more like the omniscient reader kind of stuff. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I know that feeling. Yeah. It's such a nice thing. I think that's actually the reason why you got me into omniscient reader. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, reader's viewpoint is, is pretty good. We're definitely going to be talking about that at some point. Yes, yeah. probably. Um, so I guess, you know what? I'm going to break the mold twice. This is neither an Atome game nor an Isekai. Mm. This is the Remarried Empress, first volume out. Um, mm. I have a pre-order on the second. Um, the first season just finished on uh, Webtoon. Ooh. And they're currently on a bit of a long hiatus because I believe the artist doing the art... So this was originally a web novel. Yeah. But the artist doing the artwork for the Webtoon um, is not in good health. Ooh, and so they are taking sad. an extra long break before starting season two. But season one is going to be at least two volumes, and the first one's out now. This came out mid-November. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of uh, people receiving it on TikTok yeah. um, as part of promo boxes. <laughs> Let me know where I can get on the list for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, because it's, uh, it's the um, IZE Press, which mm -hmm. is getting a lot of popularity right mm -hmm. now for publishing these, though the web novels and stuff like mm -hmm. that, but... All hail in to anyone in the comments who hates Trashta as much as I do. Um, this is actually mostly kind of a revenge and prospering story. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's it's the story of the Empress and the shitty shit that happens to her and yeah. what she does to overcome it, mm -hmm. honestly. 
Um, I really like it. It has the same vibe of a lot of those uh, historical romance yeah. reincarnations without actually being one. Like, she is doing this all on her own, first time mm. through. This is not, ah, oh, I learned my lesson the first time, I'll do better the second time. No, this is developing plot happening as it happens. Mm. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of refreshing after so many that are just, mm. ah, I know how this ends if I make this choice. Mm. So I'm really enjoying that. Yeah. For mine, I am also pulling out from some of my older stuff right there because, uh, yeah, I try to keep up with a lot of my stuff right there and translators are at least a little slow. Yeah. But this one has been uh, partially stopped because, uh, well, the writer right there is getting a manga of this. So, Ooh. yay, he is getting the recognition he deserves and is getting money from this, which he wasn't that much from the web novel, I think. Oh, 10 out of 10. Yeah. And this one is, my death flags show no sign of ending. And I just like it because it is, it is an isekai. Mm -hmm. But it's also of, like, an original personality meeting the <clears throat> isekai, like, uh, kind of thing. And they're kind of meshing together in terms of, like, the, well, not exactly fully meshing. Like, top personality, of, of course, is the isekai person. Is the, uh, sorry, not isekai. The original world's personality. Mm -hmm. And then isekai personality behind it. And... It's very, very interesting of how he's trying to keep the plot together while also trying to not end up freaking dead because he is the villain as well. Uh, it's not, it's Such the, classical the, things. The death flags are the best. Yeah. Um, speaking of death flags, um, villains are destined to die. Ooh. I don't know if you've heard of this one, but this is getting a lot of popularity online right now. Mm. It's very popular in general, but the, it's a Otome Isekai. Uh -huh. But the premise is that she enters this story as the villainess on hard mode and it's one of those otomes where you have percentages Ooh. of affection for the main characters uh -huh. and she starts at either zero or negative affection with mm. all of the main characters and basically everything is a death flag and she kind of her her whole attitude is she basically gives up she's like i just need to survive to when i turn old enough to get the fuck out because there is no way that I can make up a negative percentage number to get it up to like an acceptable level. And also, um, she is being treated like absolute shit by a lot of the main characters. So like she is essentially Cinderella? I mean, she's essentially being verbally abused by a lot Ooh. of the by several of the main leads. Mm. Um, and she really gives no shits at a certain point. She's just like, you know, mm. I know you'd rather I you know that I wasn't here, but too late. Um, and because of that, it's really interesting. It's it's very common, I think, in my opinion, when I see the villainess Atome reincarnation, that, that very often they're re reincarnated as a villainess, and then they do a couple nice things, and then the whole story turns around and changes in their favor, and yeah. all of a sudden they're the most beloved. Mm. That is not what happens in this one. Yeah. It is not. Just uh, trying to all. run. Yeah there, yeah, there are certain ones where, like, uh, they do get into that dark, gritty kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not that, like, uh, prevalent right there, but if you do find a good one, they're they're very, very nice stories. I think it's because a lot of people read these for, like, wish fulfillment. So yeah. a lot of people don't really want to, aren't yeah. as into stories where, like, the person is actively, like, about to yeah. die at all times. If I remember correctly, there was one where it's, like, prostitution as well, and there's, like, stuff like that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are like those are harsh hitting ones, but they, they their stories are very nice. Yeah. Anyway, back to me for I think the last one. I think I've got one more of my own. I just didn't pull it down, so I'll just okay. say the name of it. So I am going to be talking about. Uh, I came back, but the world's still a fantasy. Where it's it is kind of like the East Kai genre, but it's like the kind of after effects of like the East Kai genre mm. right there. And along with, like, the world is transitioning because, like, an East Ka another East Kai world met with our world as well. It's like, oh, that's a, that's a whiplash in third degree seconds right there. Yeah, I could see that. That yeah. sounds, like, chaotic as hell. Oh, yeah, that is very, very harsh on the main character. I think yeah. that's good. I've, I've been liking to see my main characters get beat down a little bit more recently. I don't mm. know. It may just be a phase, but I've been really enjoying the angst mm. in some storylines. Yeah, the angst is nice sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So I said I, I had one more. I'm not getting the book down because it's stacked under like 12 other books, four shelves up. But it's uh, mm. Daddy, I Don't Want to Marry. 
um, which is it. It is not an otome. It is not an isekai. It is a reincarnation. Okay. Um, and it's one of those ones I read like three chapters, and then the the translation I was using switched over to be like Google Translate from Korean, uh, and yeah. I just couldn't deal with it. And then I found out that it's, it's releasing on either. Tappy Tune or um, Tapas. Mm. Um, and you can read both the web novel and the web comic. Yeah. Um, I think it's on that like one, one episode a day release mm. schedule or something like that for one of them. But I've actually been reading both. I uh, have the web novel in paper because the web mm. comic hasn't been published yet mm. in, in paper. Yeah. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's I think I like it because the main character so obviously misunderstood mm. something that led to her death in the first version mm. um, and has not corrected that misunderstanding <laughs> in the second uh. version, which means that she's getting into a lot of situations where she's completely misinterpreting mm. what's happening, and because of that, she's terrified mm. and, like, trying to fix it, but she doesn't actually need to, and I still... They still haven't revealed what was supposed to happen at the end of her... Fr like... There, yeah. There's this kind of, like, w what should have happened at the end of uh -huh. her first life before she died that they still haven't revealed mm -hmm. what was meant to happen because she still hasn't mm -hmm. figured it out. Uh -huh. And I just cannot wait till we figure it out. That that kind of sounds a little bit like the, uh, what is that, Countess Daughter? God oh, dang it. We, we really enjoyed it, that book. What was that? The Countess oh. Daughter? Or was Something. It? Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember, and I can't remember the full name yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, but it sounds like it, but like from your explanation, it's very much not. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a little more angsty, a mm. little bit, a little bit closer to the the tone of villains are destined mm. to die in terms of like fatal, fatalism mm. and and kind of uh, terror and and PTSD, um, like being shown in yeah. in the in the story. So so that's what I've been reading recently mm. that I've really been enjoying. There's. Like I said, if I were to go through all of the apps and tabs I have open, there's probably yeah. at least 20 or 30 other works I could mention. But I'll save those for another video because a lot of them are ongoing and I'm still going to be reading them. So it'll be interesting to see how many I keep up with yeah. that make it into future videos. Because I do have a tendency to binge and drop stuff. Um, which is why I don't want to mention anything I've binged recently. Because there's a chance that I binged it to the current episode and then I just drop it because I don't want to wait for updates. Yeah. If that's I have to hear happened. the words Isekai, Otome game, Villainess, or Reincarnation again today, I'm going to pop someone's head off. <laughs> <laughs> so Knickknack <laughs> is not a big fan of oh. Villainess, Reincarnation, Otome, <laughs> Isekais, <laughs> um, which is really funny because uh, he's actually going to be reading one on the channel in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Where we're mm. going to discuss accomplishments of a duke's daughter. Oh, so, that's what the name of the thing yeah. is. Yeah. So oh, look forward my. to that review, and we will be back next month with another update on what we've been reading. Has it changed? Has it stayed the same? Did well, we find anything new we liked? That's not fantasy. Yeah. Uh, if you do like these videos, like because this is an entirely new format, please do like the video. If you think like uh, we need to do something different, comment right there. Don't be an absolute ass, but. Like, if you actually have something good, we will take it in consideration right yeah. there. If you actually have any other, like, novels you want, try recommend us, because we read a crap shit ton. So much. Put them in the comments right there as well. So, yep. Yeah. Like our content. Comment <laughs> about our content. Subscribe <laughs> for more of our content. Uh. Yeah, this should just be like a maybe once a month thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe uh, we'll change it up, depending on how well you guys like this. Yeah. But yeah. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.